What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Kabuto in his snake form, right? Close up on his face, with his teeth and all that kind of stuff. So, I haven't drawn Kabuto yet. All the Naruto drawings I've done, no Kabuto. Not even normal Kabuto. So, we'll start with this one. We might draw another one in the future. So, <clears throat> let's start with his eyes. Landscape page, pencil, eraser, all that good stuff. And then hit pause when I move my hand, okay? So... I curves over just here and then we go down the back and then around the bottom like so iris and pupil big circle curve around there and snake like eyes right so Dark. And we'll just darken up sort of the edge of his eye as well. And he seems to have like these lines coming around the eye too. Okay. And we can thicken up maybe his eyelid line a little bit. Okay, so his other eye, eye width in Naruto. So measure his eye, that will fit in between. And then we start there. So your eye distance across. Width of his eye fits in there. And then we curve a line over. Bring it down. bottom like so iris and pupil circular curve lines there so imagine the circle you, know, you could draw a full circle if you want you know, trace around a compass line or a stencil or anything that's the right size coin and you can just raise the top and bottom it's up to you and then snake like And we'll add some virus lines just in there. And we'll thicken up this top eyelid. Like so. So eyelid line just above, right? We'll just go across like so. We can't, his eyebrows are kind of covered with hair, but hey, we'll draw them in, will we? Where is it? So, that, that's it. We'll, his glasses come around. What do we do first? Mm, tricky. Let's see. We'll do an eyebrow. We'll do the eyebrow over this side. See how we go. So, big tick sort of line there. And we'll do the same thing this side. So, there. And then we'll go. Right up that way. And then we'll thicken it up. Just have somewhere to colour in. So it's kind of skinnier as we go back this way. It all goes underneath his hair anyway, so you don't really see much of it. Like so. So we'll get we'll get the main parts of his face in and then we'll do sort of his glasses and then those shapes around um his eyes the purple shapes we'll draw them in but we get his nostrils right so nostrils here and there's mouth big snaking mouth right so what i mean is it's kind of flat along there right but we we're going to open it up okay so we go up uh, it goes real far, further than, than, than normal. So it goes up. Like 
you know, because his face is kind of cracking and stuff. So it goes up like that. And then we'll open it up. So we'll go down this way. And down that way. And then this comes across. Like so. And then we add teeth, right? So we start with these big fangs here. Like that. And then it comes across the top. Like so. And then it kind of bumps around the back. Then the bottom fangs here, here. Bring it across for the bottom teeth. And then the molars and the back teeth back here. And his tongue line is kind of, say, here. It's a bottom lip. Like so, and then his chin around to there. Jaw, like in well, before we go on to jaw, his, his this part of his head is like quite big, so like eyes to nostril. Let's say, yeah, no, we're about the same. So, eyes to nostril is about the same as nostril to chin. So, your nose, see, is about halfway between his eyes and his chin, there to there. About the same as there to there and then nostrils to say his bottom teeth is about the same as bottom teeth to chin okay that's about your halfway point that's kind of the proportion we're working with so then the jaw goes up the side and then jaw goes up this way So then, more details inside here, like glasses and things, okay? So they're kind of like Harry Potter round sort of glasses. So if you have anything circular that's the right size, mine are, I don't. So you could trace around something. If not, you could attempt freehand. So like in the middle of his nose, right, we have this thing that comes across his face here. And we'll just make it thick. This is the thing that joins the two glasses together, right? And they're these circular Harry Potter kind of glasses. Quick tricky now, so we go. And you can just do it sort of slowly till you're happy enough with your shape. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but we'll just go for it like this, and then I'll just thicken it up. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so and then here, so we go around again, almost round again. So you just go around, 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 around. Kind of goes under hair here. But hey, I'll draw it in and then. Right, and then I will thicken it up. We'll just thicken the frames of the glasses.
like so. Right, so then he's got um, purple sort of shapes coming around his eyes and it comes out from his hair. So say, so you've got these like spikes on his nose, right? Here coming down from the inside of the glasses. Okay. And then this comes out to the side of his face. It goes underneath the frames of his glasses this way. And then inside here, so it goes up pretty close to his eyebrow and then across that way. Same on this side. Now these are drawn in with purple color. So you, you can color them in purple or whatever you want, really. And then next hair, right? And then there's all these cracks in his face and stuff. We do his hair first. So coming down the middle, we've got this cluster of three hair spikes. So one, big one here, like this, and then back up this way. Another one here, and then here. And then we'll bring it around. for his fringe kind of here okay and then so this one goes a bit longer and then we have more coming down across here any lines you go over you could just erase them so like his hair goes over the frame of the glasses there and then this one comes down onto his face by his jaw there So he's got two horns sticking out here somewhere, okay? So, so like another hair spike kind of here, right? And then horn here and here, so. Like that. right there might be like some texture on them and stuff so this line goes a bit further and then another horn sticking out here bigger one Oop. around and up around some texture lines on it <clears throat> like so. Same on this side. Like that. Okay, so we'll just I'll bring his face up here a bit more. Like so. Okay, so his hair his hair then comes down behind those horns, right? So we've got like parts in his head sort of here, say. And then it comes down this way. Then we have long hair coming down the back. over his shoulder like this and roughly on this side same sort of thing line in between the horns spikes coming down here going. Never go. Never surrender. Okay, so there. There. Hair lines, texture lines on his head. Like so. Do as much of that now as you want. And then some cracks on his face, right? So this kind of stuff. Makes him look kind of more evil. 
Okay, so shoulder wise, so we can see his trapezius here and his trapezius coming out here. And normally face width, right? Would bring you out to the edge of the shoulder. So <clears throat> say like coming out here. About the width of his face. Right, bring it to the edge of the shoulder. Do the same thing over here. Whoop, no, what's wrong? Just there. Right, and then we can see some anatomy inside here. So we got like a neckline, neckline, collarbones will go towards the shoulder that way. And then like a chest muscle line there. Similar here. So, and then like the middle of his chest or something there. He's got cracks all over his body and stuff. So let's just do those. Right, and then we might add some snake body just here, right? So, just meow, boom, his tail sort of thing. I think it's his tail, or is it one of those snakes with a head? I'm not sure, I can't remember. <clears throat> like that, and then we have these curved lines coming across the body. remember the form capital did he have like a full snake head on the body I don't know can't remember and then like cracks coming up here like so right but I think I'll leave it there that's how to draw Kabuto snake form Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.